again. The sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey has officially begun shooting. They've also started rolling cameras as well. <laughs> now from that movie, actress Dakota Johnson has revealed that she needed a bottom double huh? for Fifty Shades of Grey because she has a tattoo on her rear which she wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have been appropriate for her sexually innocent character Anastasia Steele. So she had to get a bottom double for the movie because the tattoo would have given it away. Mm. That's appropriate. <laughs> now, does Kim Kardashian have a bottom double, I wonder? And, and if she did? Yeah, it's Baleka and Bete. No. The Kulabusi Zuma. Or Seabiscuit. Whoa! Um, a fast growing tumbleweed called the Hairy Panic is clogging up homes in a small Australian town in Victoria where it's piling up as high as the houses there. A tumbleweed epidemic called the Hairy Panic. Apparently they haven't seen tumbleweed uh, like this in one place since the last Steve Hoffmeyer concert. <laughs> and it's the first thing that's ever been called the Hairy Panic since the last Spice Girls tour. Um, Barack Obama is going to make a historic trip to Cuba in the coming weeks. It is the first by an American leader since when? When? 1928, Johnny. Wow. 1920 is the last time an American leader has made a trip to Cuba. Barack Obama is the next person to do that. He won't be the last because when Donald Trump becomes president, he will also make a visit to Cuba, except he will take the army with. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Exactly. And finally, Adele. Oh, this is such a sweet story. You know, we told you yesterday about the microphone falling into the piano strings during the Adele mm. performance. She, she cried about that. She revealed that she was so upset how badly her Grammys performance went, she cried the whole day afterwards. <laughs> Which is strange, because that's what I did the first time I ever heard her sing. 